I live in Austin, Texas, uh, so far away from originally home, uh, Alexandria, Egypt. I am a conceptual artist. Media doesn't stop me. I like experimenting with the different. It's like inquiry-based, so it depends on research, what I'm working on, and it brings, you know, material and everything else follows. When I applied for Bemis, my plan was between experimentation and uh, working on production for my solo exhibition, Austin Women and Their Work. What was great about this, that the ideas evolved and, you know, I had a lot of time to uh, tweak things and, you know, go, ba go back to original ideas. Creating an experiential environment for the viewer, creating an alternative space, not just for viewers, for marginalized uh, individuals, uh, a place for people to get connected. I'm still keep chasing this idea as I move to the States, see the layers behind access, inclusion. Creating the environment is kind of something that makes me connected and hopefully uh, people will connect, connect through these ideas. The space is usually like something that I learned from other artists like say René Magrette. What he does, you know, space becomes really occupied with this big apple. Uh, for me, is like questioning our role as individual in the environment. So this kind of visual play, uh, it's, it plays the emotional part uh, that is important for me and it starts with the physical part of understanding spaces. I'm really attached and always, you know, this magnet is through um, spaces that has already some history uh, or bringing history, bringing those, you know, working on the objects themselves. If you're bringing work to a white cube, then I will age it as if it's looking for, that's coming from, you know, an archeological dig. It's necessary to bring on uh, this kind of emotional play because it affects us. This is like something I learned through, not just growing up in Egypt, I learned through a lot of travel in different countries. Like our memory, how it works with smell, how it works with texture, how it works with all of this as humans. So that's how I want to touch people through spaces, creating spaces. When I arrived and we had a tour like upstairs, especially like the fifth floor, the space is already up so you can see through the windows what's going on outside. What I love experimenting, because I worked with shadows before, like the light will be artificial. The shadow of the forms are, is the hero. And here, like I've been in Egypt this December, and uh, we were in the car and through this historic, you know, street. And you are in the light when you are in a window and you're moving, you're actually, you're, you're not moving, but your body is not moving. Everything around you seems to be moving and you're staying still. That's how I feel like when the light comes in. And I started experimenting with small movies. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I am here to kind of collect whatever I can in order to create a new body of work. It's a huge opportunity, especially at the fourth floor, at the dungeon room, which I call it the dungeon room. It's like a room full of treasures. So I collected some material. I started like, you know, and different kind of new forms for me. And I started looking at them through the light, like, and also doing something with the windows, like capturing, because you see the light comes to the floor and lays down and changes through the day and through the days, through the sky, the condition of the sky. So all of this I've been capturing in the small, you know, plexi cases, capturing the light. It's kind of scary, poetic, but I feel like it's an experiment that I, I am going to um, follow. Uh, in the future. So I have been also selected before I come here and good news, it's a big opportunity in Austin, like my first public uh, project and at the first historical fire station EMS. So which is like for me here being in the opportunity with overlaying this kind of the building. Uh, the building has a lot of history. Uh, the wall itself has a lot of layers that if you touch, it comes through and you see what's under. The artwork is gonna be kind of lifting what's historically in the building. So I'm also experimenting with the light, something that's gonna happen in the future that I don't know what it's gonna look like. So it's been busy and good here.